we were we were there for a year and because they could not after Pearl Harbor was bombed they could not get the the citizens the American citizens were there they couldn't get off um I knew what was going on i i i mean my daddy and uh, my daddy told me why we couldn't leave the bay at the end, and we were still in this house, and we stayed there until they could get us out. Now they didn't get Daddy out. Daddy had to stay, but me and my mother, they finally could get the, the um, people that were American citizens out. We had everything we needed except that um, we could not go out because of the, the um, Pearl Harbor being bombed. They were, they were, when that, when that was um, a priority, don't let children out. Uh, we, they did not, and there was a lot of the Hawaiian people that were, couldn't do anything either. I mean, it, it, it's, it, we were in an, on an island that had been attacked. And you, with that, you, you don't be just anybody. <laughs> We're under war. It was war. And you don't walk around. They didn't know when, when, uh, some, when the uh, Japanese was going to strike again. And so, you understood that as a child. You understood that. I, I did because my father was very plain about it. I mean, he he told me why we couldn't do this and that and the other thing. I was allowed on the ship to help with the wounded warriors, the wounded uh, men that was there. I, I, I pick up things for them, and I, I would help them, the people that were working with the wounded. They needed something, I'd go get it. And if um, they, I uh, sat and talked with some of them, just talk. How old were you at that time? I was six and a half. It, it was the only way we could get back. So when we did that, and I, I had, you know, I was just a child, but I helped in every way I could. With if they needed some, some of the wounded men or needed something, or um, I, sometimes I would help with the bandaging mm -hmm. if there was. It's just was I help with everything I could with anything I